Germany's farmers have kicked off a week of nationwide protests by bringing the centre of Berlin to a standstill. Convoys of tractors and trucks lined many of the main roads, causing major traffic disruption during rush hour. The farmers are angry over government plans to phase out agricultural subsidies as it attempts to fix a hole in its finances. The farmers have to ensure that food is there for the population, but in the end it's made so difficult for them. Now with the cuts and the like, that they're basically scraping by at the subsistence level and are basically no longer able to make it economically viable. And at some point, the money runs out. Chancellor Scholz's coalition was dealt a blow last year as its budget plans were thrown into disarray by the country's highest court. The three-party coalition of the Social Democrats, the Greens and the Free Democrats were forced into months-long negotiations to try and find cuts that could plug an $18 billion hole that remains in the country's finances. The latest draft budget for 2024 sees tax breaks for agriculture being scrapped and plans for a diesel subsidy for farmers phased out over several years. A previous protest by farmers saw the government U-turn on plans to get rid of subsidies immediately. Farmers' unions have called on protesters not to target politicians' homes. Other cities across Germany are also being affected by Monday's strike action. Tens of thousands of people gathered in Munich city centre and in Bremen in the northwest of Germany. A VW car factory had to halt production because workers' access to the factory was blocked. Here in Berlin, we are expecting more protests by farmers on the horizon. There's also a three-day rail strike starting on Wednesday to bring more transport chaos to the country. Peter Oliver, CGTN, Berlin.